Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed my cover of Son of Robot by Dance Gavin Dance. So for this lesson video, just as I did with my gravity lesson video, I'm going to take you through the entire song from front to back, breaking down each section. The tempo for this song is 218 beats per minute. The time signature is 3-4. There's no time signature or tempo changes. It's just those two through the entire track. So let's dive right in. I'm going to start by performing the first verse. It's the first section of the song where there are drums. It takes place right after the long guitar intro, and it comes in along with the lead vocal. I'm going to start with the track tempo at 218 beats per minute. Then I'm going to go back through the section at 170 beats per minute. Most of the drumming sections in this song are divided by quick dropouts with just the guitar and vocal playing. Right after that first verse I just performed, there is one of those dropouts. And then we move into the next drumming section. I'm calling the start of this section verse 1.2. So I'm sort of dividing it where the drum start again is the second half of the first verse. That means that the first half of the first verse, 1.1, was half drums and then half dropout. Here's verse 1.2 now. Okay, so coming out of that, we have another dropout, and then we're going to go into the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus is fairly quick, then it moves right into the chorus. So I'm going to perform to you the pre-chorus now. After that section, after the pre-chorus, we're going to move right on into the chorus. There's no dropout between, there's no delay, it just comes in on the downbeat. Here's chorus one now. After chorus one, we're going to move back into the same pattern that I played in verse 1.1. There is no dropout between the two. It just runs right into each other. I'm going to perform that section for you now. It's almost the exact same as verse 1.1, except for the fill at the end is a bit different. 
So pay attention to that fill. So verse 2 is pretty much divided the same way that verse 1 is, which means that that section I just performed was verse 2.1. Now we're going to move into verse 2.2. The drums in this section, again, are the same as verse 1.2, except for the fill at the end is going to be slightly different. That's the only really thing that changes from verse 1 and verse 2 is the end sections of each drum part are going to have a different fill. Pay attention to the fill and you're ready to move on to the next section. Here's verse 2.2 now. After verse 2.2, we're going to go into our dropout and then at pre-chorus 2 and chorus 2. Pre-chorus 2 and chorus 2 are the same as pre-chorus 1 and chorus 1. Even though they're the same, I am going to perform them real quick just so that you can start this video and run all the way through it and then get to the end and have the song learned just so you're not jumping around in points in the video, but they are exactly the same. Coming out of chorus two is the last section of the song and we're done. This song is a pretty quick and easy learn just because there's not many sections and the sections that are in the song are exactly the same at different points. So you don't have to do a whole lot of learning. You just get the sections down and move on. I'm going to perform the last section of the song, the outro for you now.
Cool, so that's it. Thank you for checking out my lesson video and my cover of the song Son of Robot by Dance Gavin Dance. I've gotten a lot of requests for two specific videos that I'm gonna try and get up next. The first video I'm gonna try and do is gonna be a quick sort of tutorial on how to do a couple of the stick tricks I perform. People have been requesting that video for a very long time, so I'm gonna get around to that. The next video I'm gonna do is a video that breaks down how I make my covers, how I make my videos, how I get everything to sound the way it does and sync up. For a long time, people have been asking me how I make it sound good and look good and keep it everything synced up when there's no mics. I'm gonna have a video where I break down all of that. So stay tuned for those, subscribe so you know when those drop, and I'll see you guys soon with something new.